I want to welcome you to the, uh, our inaugural uh, Distinguished Lecture Series. Um, for, for nearly four years, the Stanford Center on Longevity has been exploring the challenges and the opportunities of aging societies. Uh, we at the Center are committed to using science and technology to modify culture uh, so that more people reach old age, physically fit, mentally sharp, and financially secure. And, and achieving this requires uh, a deep understanding of a number of important issues. In less than one century, life expectancy increased by an average of 30 years in developed regions of the world. In the United States, uh, more and more of us are, are reaching old age, and older Americans are making up a greater percentage of our population. The center uh, initiates and supports uh, research aimed at practical solutions for problems of people 50 and older that will improve quality of life for people at all ages. Uh, we bring together uh, the very best minds among the Stanford faculty um, and build groups of those faculty with experts from other places around the world and then work with policymakers, industry, businesses in order to bring those kinds of solutions to the public. Uh, we're known at the Center for bringing together people from all walks of life, and I think you'll see that reflected in this room tonight. You know, no one um, brings together the qualities that are needed to meet the challenges of an aging America uh, better than our speaker tonight. Uh, Dr. John Jack Rowe. Um, has nearly a lifelong commitment to finding ways to help people live longer and healthier. He's an expert on health care, economics, and healthy aging. Uh, he's been a professor, a physician, a business executive, and a visionary leader in multiple fields. I'll give you some highlights of his career, some background. Dr. Rowe graduated from Canisius College in Buffalo, New York, and then he got his MD at the University of Rochester. He became a professor at Harvard um, and um, shortly after that established, founded uh, the Division on Aging at Harvard Medical School. He became chief of gerontology at Boston's Beth Israel Hospital. And very shortly after that, uh, he became president of Mount Sinai Hospital and Mount Sinai School of Medicine in New York City, and he remained there for 10 years. Now, now to listen to Jack, after that, he, he decided to become an insurance salesman. <laughs> and so he left academics. Uh, truth be told, he became the chairman and the CEO of Aetna, uh, among the nation's largest um, healthcare and related benefits organizations. Um, and he served as CEO from 2000 to 2006 and appeared on the cover of magazines as the best businessman in America, the best manager in America, things like that. Well, when he retired um, from, from Aetna in 2006, he returned to academia to the light of many academics. And um, he is currently a professor of health policy at, at the Mailman School of Public Health at Columbia University. But for the past few months, <laughs> we on the West Coast, and particularly Stanford, have been um, exceptionally fortunate because Jack is serving as a fellow at the Center for Advanced Study in the Behavioral Sciences um, here on campus. And so he's actually a local colleague um, for, for six months. Throughout his career, he has made major contributions and as a result received the, really the, the highest academic awards um, in, in um, the profession. He is a member of the Institute of Medicine of the National Academies of Sciences. He's a fellow of the American Academy of Arts and Sciences. Um, for, for 10 years, uh, Jack Rowe ran a MacArthur Foundation research network that was focused on successful aging. And it was really during that time that the concept of successful aging 
for many considered an oxymoron, <laughs> came to be considered an ideal, a goal, and something uh, that, that people truly could realize. And he began to find ways that more and more people could, could achieve that. Very recently, after having run this network, which really focused on the aging of individuals, the MacArthur Foundation contacted him again, this time to run a network focused on aging societies. And we are all anxiously waiting to see where Jack leads uh, this network um, and hoping that he is as successful in, in finding solutions for aging societies as he was in really reconceptualizing the idea of successful aging. Uh, people often remark that Jack was a gerontologist before there were a lot of old people. <laughs> and that really speaks to um, his, his expertise and his vision. He raises awareness of issues, he identifies problems, and then he finds solutions. So you can understand that when the Center on Longevity created a council of outside advisors um, we, and we needed a chair, Jack Rowe was really the, the obvious choice to chair that council. Um, he agreed, and from that moment forward, we have been benefiting from his support and his good counsel. I am confident that his remarks tonight will leave all of us here together better informed, challenged, and inspired. Uh, please join me in welcoming Jack Rowe.